Yeah, it's a massive opportunity, huge honor. Obviously come with big responsibility, but really excited. I think we are an unbelievable squad and hopefully we can take it forward and get the results this season. Yeah, Robbo is obviously an amazing leader for the Harlequins and for England. So I learned a lot from him, how to deal with certain situations. And, um, but yeah, he's just an unbelievable guy that I still look up to. And luckily Robbo, when he left, said I should always give him a call. If I struggle with something, he's always a helping hand. So yeah, that's class from that, that point of view. So in the past, I've always been with senior sides, been in the leadership groups, not actually being the captain. But at school level and junior levels, I've, I've been in the captaincy role. It's something I've enjoyed over the years. Um, the extra, um, not pressure, extra commitment that comes with it and responsibility. Um, I think it's something that makes me a better player and something I enjoy. So hopefully that translates this season as well. I think you need to lead by example if you want people to, to believe in you and to follow you. Um, if you just talk and you don't put in the effort on the field, it doesn't really help. But um, I think my strength is getting along with everyone from the youngsters. I have a good relationship with younger guys. I'm actually good friends with them, the likes of Marcus and even Staff, the young nine, to guys like DC and the older guys being friends with them. So just being in the middle there, connecting the, the dots like that, I would say. But yeah, I think that's definitely a strength of mine. The Harlequin supporters has been amazing. I think that's one of my highlights from coming to Quint, um, out of the Super Rugby, coming to the Prem is just a full stoop, is amazing playing with everyone singing. Um, everyone's so passionate about the game and always friendly. Um, so yeah, that's, they've been great and just looking for more experiences from the crowd, getting involved with the crowds, yeah, looking forward. Hopefully we can have them back soon. Yeah, Gazi gave me a phone call last week um, and he said he's looking to, to announce me or want, he wants to make me captain. Uh, then I asked for a few days just to reflect on it because it's obviously a big decision and I think you need the leader, need, it has to be the best for the team. So I made a few phone calls to some of the senior players, DC, Marla, Brownie, just to get their thoughts on it. Um, I think you need those senior players buying into a leader. If they're not buying in, they've been part of this club for a long time, they're part of the furniture. So you need them actually, it's not a one-man job at the end of the day, it's a, it's a team effort still, the leadership role. So you want them to help you in this role. Um, they were massively supportive, um, all three of them. So um, yeah, after speaking to them, I had a lot of or more, more confidence um, in the role and I accepted it. Yeah, it's a bit surreal still. I don't think I have think of that at all or think that far even, but it will be something special to me. It's obviously, like I said, a huge honor. I don't think in my wildest dream when I signed at Quinn's, I thought I'll be in this position. But um, yeah, it's something I look forward to. It will be a massive challenge. I'll learn along the way, but hopefully um, I can grow into this position and, and make a difference at the club. Yeah, so I was still a youngster when Andre played, growing up watching him playing for the Springboks. Typical South African loose forward hard man. So I didn't really see him playing for Quinn's, but obviously seeing him play for watching him play for the Springboks over the years. Um, yeah, someone we all looked up to. He captained the Springboks at the time as well. So, um, yeah, don't know too much of his time at Quinn's, but yeah, uh, great big shoes to fill in that regard. Going to this new season, we have a lot of youngsters, exciting youngsters in the likes of Marcus Domus. Um, Chiz is not that young, but he's also he's got a lot of rugby still in him. Oh. Um, and there's a lot of youngsters coming through, through the ACAD, that's really excited. Lewis and um, Lennox, those type of guys. So I think we have a good mix of experience and youth coming through. So I think this year, if we can get more um, clarity in, in our game plan, it's a big thing working on is our clarity and all pulling in the, in the right direction. If we have the belief in our squad and in our teams and also in our plan combined with hard work, so I think the only thing we'll, we can, we'll see definitely see results at the end of the day. Yeah, look, I think people doesn't always understand how big of a move is it coming over from South Africa or for any guy coming from overseas to the UK. It's quite a big um, thing to adapt to. It's obviously the weather, the culture, um, and just the move in itself is quite big. So myself and Andre has been best friends for quite a while, playing together at the Sharks, and then I had a short stint with Tyron at the Lions. Um, only met Volko um, when he arrived here. 
but both being Afrikaans from farm boys it made it a bit easy. We have a lot in common. Um, so they'll take a bit to settle in, but I think once they settle in, they'll add huge value to this club. And yeah, I think people will still enjoy the way they play and they'll add a lot of value. And yeah, Andre is obviously a monster. I think at center weighing 115 on a good day when he's lean. Um, probably one of the only centers trying to lose a lot of weight. But um, yeah, he's been class, whatever, whatever jersey he's putting on, whether it was for the Sharks or the Springboks. Um, he gives you confidence in the fence. He always gets you over the gain line. So I think the value he's going to add is, is immense in this club. It will take a little bit of time, but once he slots into that role and with confidence, um, yeah, the value, he'll add a lot of value and I think the fans would love it. I try to keep it a little bit quiet, but I just I did tell my parents uh, towards the end of last week. They're obviously very proud of me. A um, few tears, but um, yeah, a lot of support from from them. Um, so yeah, I didn't tell a lot of the friends yet. So the messages will probably st still still come in <laughs> after the news. Yeah, I think me and Gazi work well. We have a relationship. Um, I think we both respect uh, honesty. So we've had a quite a few honest relationship over, over the last season. Not always easy conversations, but I think that's the conversations we need more, more of to go forward, taking the club forward, not just in the leadership, but in the group as a whole. I think those tough conversations are needed. Um, but I think Gazi speaks for himself. He's been with Saracens that was successful, England that was successful. And I think um, with more time in the saddle in this club, um, we'll also be successful in time.